Alrighty guys, I'm Orthodon and we are back for Queen's Gambit Season 1 Episode 4. So yeah, last episode we had Beth have her first loss, which uh, hit her pretty hard. She's going to have to recover from that. She's uh, kind of lashing out at her at her mom a bit because of it and uh, and all that. She lost to the, uh, was it the US champion? So... Yeah, it's a it's a big fish to go up against, and she she put up a fight, but he he had her, and and she did not like that. But like I said in my discussion of last episode, uh, having a loss, like learning to lose, is a very important uh, aspect of any sport, you know. So yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to whatever this episode has to offer. So I say we just jump into it, shall we? Alrighty, so we're gonna start here in five, four, three, two. One now. And in classic Morthodon recording fashion, my heat has kicked on right when I start uh right when I started uh recording, so apologies for the humming whenever I'm talking. You'll hear it kick in. <laughs> You're learning Russian, right? Because she wants to eventually verse the Russians? Who's that guy? Nice long shot of her walking. Beth Nimrod. Oh shit. Is she getting high? Nah. <laughs> Okay. It's a bunch of hippies. All right. Whole bunch of people getting high. Yep, that's a candle shaped like a dick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like if she just knew. Oh boy. Oh boy. She about to trade rooks. I'll have a drink too.
All right. She does not seem to be enjoying it. How supportive of her. <laughs> and he's out, isn't he? Hmm. She's like, that wasn't as much fun as chess, damn it. Wake up. You're going to be late. There's no one here now. Is this, okay. It's a mess. Just like even their house. Although I guess it is very hippified. It would make sense if it was. Mm. Smoke more, too, if you want. Does she smoke it now, or does she just take it home with her? Where are your shoes? She smokes it now. She went and took a shower. Cleaning. <laughs> Guess that was nice of her. I'll eat your food, but I'm going to clean up. Hmm. Being honest. <laughs> hmm. All right. <laughs> the mom's okay with it. <laughs> Those are some famous last words. So is she actually going to Cincinnati? Or is she just staying here but she didn't want to tell her mom that? Damn, she is pounding that down. Ooh, she's graduating! <laughs> nice, so she is done with school now, so that whole aspect of uh, having to call out sick for her and stuff like that is, is done. And that helps us give her a better idea of her age, which means she's probably at least 18 now. Unless she had a late birthday. I think... I think I might have been 18 after I graduated high school, because my birthday's in July. Nice watch. Or is it a bracelet? Is it a watch? Aww. Nice.
You get practice. Ooh, Paris. <laughs> the mom likes that idea. All right. Uh oh. Oh. Uh, in prison, maybe? Is pen pal usually prison or is it just exchange letters with? Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. A oh, little creepy, but... Haha. <laughs> The crazy mom. <laughs> I like how they're like pretty honest with each other though, that's really cool. Like even even Beth with the whole like were you with a boy and she was I was last night and, and stuff like that. <laughs> All right. Is this the where they're playing, or is this the, uh... Is this, like, the hotel or something? Oh. Hmm. Little stages. Yeah, that's probably where they're playing. Yep. Got some chess boards set up, some people playing. Well, she got her partying out. She doesn't seem too down about losing at this point. She's getting right back on the horse. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Beth. Always drinking. Hmm. 
To be fair, her playing chess is the reason you're able to come here and do all this and, and go to Paris and stuff, so... Yeah. Hmm. It's it's dangerous, but I mean, if that's what she's good at, she shouldn't try to, you know... Hmm. They both have points. I'm a, I'm on both sides of that that uh, conversation. On how will we get up to? Interesting. Cool little uh, flashback to a conversation with uh, something like Siebel or something uh, that we didn't get to see before. Scheibel, I think it was. Watching the monkeys. Apes, whatever they are. Primates. Hmm. What's she thinking about? I mean, she's seen, it looks like she's seen like a family with the kid and... You know, and, and she's alone kind of thing, maybe. I don't know. Or is that someone she's playing against, possibly? Interesting. Uh, I'm starting to feel more like that might be who she's playing against. Just happened to be there.
Uh oh. Friggin'. It's always so weird to me whenever you see, like, I think they call them, like, hair extensions or something, but when she just, like, pulls off just part of her hair. But what? The 17 year old. Okay, so she's 17 still. Hmm. Damn. So she won. Nice. Oh, Jesus, Beth. That's creepy. That was an interesting shot. <laughs> oh, the the twins. Damn. Mostly with pawns. Damn. Damn. So she is kicking ass. By the 23rd move. That's, that's, even I know that's impressive. I'm praying that I, we were having internet issues earlier. It was like bogged down and stuff. I'm praying for no buffering in this episode tonight, but so far so good. So I probably shouldn't have said anything. Jinx it. Oh, so is that that that's the guy we saw, right? Is this the one she's gonna have to fight in the end. Uh oh. Oh. Well, she had her fun, I guess. Yep. A short reprieve. Ooh. A child prodigy, maybe? Interesting. The first match they haven't talked over. I wonder if this will be more of a struggle for Beth. 
all the other ones, they talked over it and just breezed through them. He's moving quick. She's... I'm worried that she's being drawn into his pace. But we know that she's good. As a quick player as well. Ooh. Okay, we're just jumping to the... Damn. That's going on for some time. Uh-oh. She looks stressed. I've never done this before. What's this? Or I've never seen this. <laughs> drive through movies. Or drive-in movies, yeah. <laughs> oh. So I'm not quite sure what happened there. I don't know enough about chess. It, it seemed like she wrote her like final move down or something. Or did they put the game, like, on pause and they finish later? I'm not quite sure. Okay. Okay, so they resume- so she wrote down what her next move was gonna be, and then they resume the next day? Is she that confident about that move? Yeah, he's... Is he running through all the moves? <laughs> Intimidation? I don't know. What's she doing? Is she gonna play from over there? Okay, never mind. This is gonna yell over, this to that! <laughs> Hmm. She's trying to slow her pace down, maybe? Throw him off his game a little bit. Made her move quick and walk away again. They're not even showing us the board right now, either. Not a single bit of it. <laughs> he seems to be getting frustrated.
Oh. Damn. Hmm. Do you want it? Seemed like a more difficult fight. Yeah. <laughs> then what? Damn. That's an interesting question. More to life than chess. Damn. Even better than, uh, Benny? Oh, shit. Ominous. Damn, she struggled with him. And she still has this guy to go up against. Was this his match that he won? Orgovs. Is she playing the piano? The mom? Nice. Talented. You always learn new things about your parents. Oh. <laughs> Food. All right. Nice. Yeah. Trying to get her away from everything for a little bit, thinking about it. That him? Damn. Talking shit.
Damn. <laughs> All their faces. <laughs> we were just talking so much shit. Oh my god. All right. Jeez. Nice. All right. Moment of truth. Does she win? Here we go. Like the music build up. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Wrong with the mom. Oh boy. Sacrifice, uh. They'd both have to trade pieces. He went in on that, right? They're letting us really keep up with this match for now, anyway. Damn. So she has to slip him up. There's a lot more pieces gone than before. That does not look happy. You got this, Beth. Come on. You lost last episode, you gotta win this one, right? Well, she didn't lose last episode, I gotta stop saying that. She's co-champion, she like tied with him. Oh. Cool little. Oh, damn. Call him back to that. Oh, she, she gave in. Damn. Hmm. 
Uh oh. Oh no. She dead. Really? Like, we knew she was sick, and I had a feeling this was going to be coming at some point. Damn. Ooh. Damn. So the drug she was taking before, she... Oh, wow. Damn. That's nice of them. That's kind of rude. Was it, uh, the guy she was with? I can't think remember his name now. From Denver. Oh. Jeez. Ah, oh, man. Damn. Damn. Very cold. Hepatitis. Yep. Oh, that's what he said. Uh... So she's just on her own now. Damn, man. So she's 17 right now. Does that mean she's... Is she old enough now to be considered an adult and not have to go back into the system? 
I guess, uh, worst case, she could, like, file for emancipation or whatever, um, to be regarded as an adult or something like that. I don't know how it all works, but... Damn, how much does it cost to have to fly a body back somewhere and have them buried in a certain spot? I can't imagine that being cheap, right? Margaritas. Oh, uh, poor Beth, man. In honor of her. Yeah. All right, damn. That's it. Shit. That is the end of episode four, guys. Damn, and her mom is gone. Like, I knew, like, obviously the hints were there of her being sick all the time from the beginning, you know, um, from, like, the second episode when... I guess, wow, it's only the fourth episode. That's crazy, because the whole first episode we didn't have, uh... We didn't have the whole adoption thing, right? She wasn't adopted until the next episode, I believe. Um, so, yeah, because we had the time skip, and then she was adopted when they changed actresses and everything, so, so yeah, we only had the mom for episode two and three? Holy crap, it actually feels like we've had her for, like, five or six episodes. That's crazy. But, I mean, I guess, I guess we had her for two, three, and, like, most of four, you know? But, uh, this one here... Oh man, that that sucks though. Like I I knew it was gonna come eventually, and I suspected something was wrong when she was playing and it jumped to the mom, and she like stood up and like had like some kind of realization or something in the mirror, and, and sat back down or whatever. And I guess she just didn't get back up, unfortunately. Um, man, like. I don't know much about hepatitis, but is that not something that you can... Is that something she's been struggling with this whole time? Or is that just not something you can treat, you know? I'm not sure. I don't know enough about it. But, yeah. Unfortunately, Beth lost another mother. And, I mean... Really, the only good thing is, is she is now of the age of being able to take care of herself. You know, and she has a means of being able to take care of herself with her chess playing and everything. But, like, talk about a double whammy this episode where she blew through this tournament, struggled on the second to last fight with the with the kid, and then won, or I mean, and then lost against the, uh, and Borgoff. But, yeah, and then lost, came home, and, or back to the hotel room, and to find that, that stinks, man. I mean, obviously, this is far more painful than the loss, but when a lot of bad things stack up, they they all end up being significant, you know? And then she calls the... She calls the father, or her, you know, her father, adoptive father, and he's just... I don't, I don't know what's up with him. Like, they... She said permanently detained in Detroit, yet I thought that meant he was, like, in jail... But apparently not, and apparently he still, like, owned the house that they were staying at and everything, so... I guess whatever he's doing, whatever he does for a job, for some reason he's stuck down there doing it. I don't know what's what's up with that. I, I may have missed something in one of the first episodes that, that maybe explains it a little better, but... Um, but yeah, that's uh, interesting. Uh, and he was, you know, obviously... Not really a nice guy, you know, like his his wife just died. I don't know if they had like divorced when he split or or what or if they were still technically married uh when he was permanently detained in Detroit. I don't know when they would have done it if if they did, but 
either way, you know, someone he used to be married with, and he's just like, I don't have time for this right now, you know, and stuff like that. Like, oh, poor Beth. And she's, like, struggling, probably trying to, like, seek... In a way, she's trying to, like, figure out what to do next. But I think she's also trying to seek someone to grieve with her, you know? But there's just no one, so... Oh, man. That's some sad shit, but... But yeah, we had some some interesting stuff this episode with her. Uh, I guess seemingly lost her virginity, <laughs> so to the to the hippies, um, she didn't seem all that into it, you know. Um, but I don't know if that was a fault of her own or a fault of him. But either way, um, probably doesn't give her the same thrill as like Chess does and stuff. Maybe, but yeah, I don't know. Um, the uh, first time we've seen her smoke, so that's uh, that's another first for her. And uh, yeah, she started to be a little more independent, and I really, I really like the relationship between her and the mom too. Like earlier on in the episode, with with the mom being, or with her and her mom being very open with each other for the most part, and and stuff like that. It's it was nice, and it, it stinks that that dynamic is over, because I, I enjoyed it. The mom was so excited to go to Paris, too! Oh, damn. Yeah, she was excited. I don't know if, uh, I don't know if she would have even, I don't know if she's still gonna go to Paris now that she lost here. She said she was invited. Unless that invitation is on the grounds that you win at this spot, you know? If it's like, hey, you're invited here, if you win, you can participate, you know? And she lost, but I guess we'll find out if she does end up going to Paris or not. But, uh... I can't... I actually can't remember. Was... Was the first episode where we saw her as a seemingly adult, um... And she sat down in front of someone... I can't remember what that guy looks like in episode one. And I can't remember if... I remember it saying, like... 1667 or 1867 or whatever. Uh, I I also can't remember the time frame of the show. Apparently, I think it was 1867. Um, definitely not 1667. Uh, anyway, um, the uh, the thing I'm curious about is, did it say Paris though? I can't remember when she woke up out of like the bathtub or whatever in the very first episode. Did it say Paris and then the date? Um, I almost want to say it did, but maybe I'm imagining it, uh, but anyway, uh, so that might be a thing, that might be where we catch up to whatever the first episode was, is when she's in Paris, but, yeah. Oh man, hell of a journey Beth has gone through between, you know, losing her actual mother, losing her adoptive mother, her adoptive father doesn't seem to give a shit, and... Her actual, seemingly her father, who we saw in some flashbacks with, uh, talking to her, her mom originally, I don't know if she's ever gonna somehow find him, you know, or what's up with that. Uh, didn't it say, like, well, no, yeah, because the mom was, like, running from the father. I was gonna say, like, did she lose both her parents in the crash? But no, I don't think she lost her father. So her actual father might be out there somewhere. I wonder if that's ever going to come into play um, with how with how famous uh, Beth is getting. Granted, the father didn't see her since she was really young, and her name is different now, right? I think is Harmon the adoptive parent's name that she took on. I don't I don't remember if her name was Elizabeth Harmon prior to being adopted. I think she got that last name when she was adopted. So that means even if the even if the father sees the name in the papers, he'll be like, oh, I have a daughter named Elizabeth, you know? But he might not realize that it's her, you know? I don't know. But if they if they somehow get reunited, that'd be that'd be interesting. But Yeah, the uh what else was there? Yeah, I just I feel so bad for for Beth, you know, losing losing her mom like that. The the person she enjoyed going on, you know, all these journeys with and and everything that they've been through. But yeah, I mean, I don't think there's really much else like really significant to talk about in this episode other than, 
you know, some of the stuff that, like, I, I like the whole conversation between the mom and Beth, like, because I agreed with both sides. And I think, I think the most compelling stories in a show is when I can agree with both sides, because, you know, it makes me invested in both characters rather than just the one I agree with, you know? Um, but, you know, obviously it's important for Beth to study and be on top of her game, but if she does rely a lot on intuition, sometimes if you study too much, you start hindering your intuition with, you know, all this other knowledge that you have, and and sometimes you can affect your play and, and stuff like that, so, and obviously just being able to relax and clear your mind and stuff like that, like the mother was saying, is definitely a a good thing to do uh, from time to time, so I, I enjoyed that conversation that they had this episode, but... Hopefully, uh, hopefully Beth will remember and adhere to some of those things. I like how I like how Beth is having a mar margarita on the plane as they were leaving, um, kind of toasting her and looked over at the seat she's usually sitting in, you know. But oh man, well, I mean, I guess Beth has a house now if she can afford the mortgage. Um, but damn, I wonder if we're gonna learn more about the mother's death, like. They said they're going to be the autopsy, so they left it a little open-ended. I wonder if we're going to get, like, if it's just going to leave it at that, and if we don't hear anything, we assume it was hepatitis, you know? And, like, I don't know if hepatitis is something you struggle with for your life, you know? Or is it something you catch, right? Um, let's see if I can look up anything real fast before we before we end this episode. Hepatitis. I guess there's different types, right? Hepatitis damages the liver. Um, so B can be easily preventable by a vaccine. Hepatitis C, an infection caused by virus that attacks, leads to inflammation. Alcoholic hepatitis, liver inflammation caused by drinking too much alcohol. That maybe that's what it was. Yeah, I don't know. Um, this was also a while ago. Um, there may not have been as advanced medicine as we have now. So I, I would have to do a lot more research into it in like the time periods where hepatitis was like dangerous and deadly and stuff. But yeah, I don't know. That's like. I am curious if the hepatitis that she died from here, is that what she's been struggling with since the start of the sh like, since she was introduced to the show in being sickly, you know? Or was that something different? Or, you know, but anyway. Sad stuff, man. It's going to be interesting going forward with, uh, with Beth being on her own. I wonder if she's going to, um, like, just remain on her own, or is she going to find someone to, like, travel with and spend time with, you know? Um, like, maybe towns or something? I don't know. But, yeah. Too bad. But, that's gonna be it for me, guys, for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button if you did. Uh, if you're if you're watching on YouTube, that is. If you're watching on Patreon for these this Patreon show that this is, uh, thank you so much for the support. Uh, if you haven't, check out my Patreon where I have shows like this where I watch the entire thing on Patreon prior to releasing it onto YouTube. So that means if you're watching episode 4, like this one on YouTube right now, you can see the entire rest of the show on my Patreon. And then also some episodes of whatever I replace this with uh, next. So yeah guys, check that out if you're interested. I very much appreciate the support and thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my future reactions. Bye bye.